Aikiju Jitsu versus Oki Kenjudo. I've never heard of Oki Kenjudo, but obviously we've heard of Aikiju Jitsu. You could argue that Aikiju Jitsu is a more intense pressure tested version of what we would consider Aikido. That's going to anger some people, but I don't care. Whoa, there's a big, big height and reach advantage. Okay. So far, they're both striking. Okay, all right. Aikiju, oh, judo guy throws him. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Maybe because they left the central area of the mats. It's going to get stood up. I don't know what happened there. But this is awesome. I'll tell you guys more about the league. I've established contact with them. So any questions you guys might have, I will answer based on what they said. Nice leg kick by Okiken Judoka. Ooh, Aikido guy using his reach advantage to punch the guy's face when he enters. Judoka looking to grapple again. Again, he was grabbing the sleeves. This is cool. Oh, Judoka going for... Uh, oh, wow. Aiki Jiu-Jitsu guy sprawled on him. Wow. Judoka was going for a single leg, man. You don't see that in Olympic Judo anymore. This much, this must be like a more traditional form of Judo. See, he's still trying to go for the leg. He still, he got him. Never mind. He, he switched to, it. He, he stopped going for the leg. Wow. Okay. Um, going for an arm bar. Now he's turtled up. Um, Aiki Jiu-Jitsu guy. This is one of the coolest matches I've ever seen. Wow. Um, look at that. He's got his hand on a B-U-T-T -T of the, of the, it's almost like a judo, um, it's a judo version of an oil check. Not really. He's grabbing the, I don't know what you call it, whatever that thing's called. Um, that throw ended up a little sloppy, but if this weren't stood up, Judoka probably would have gotten the arm bar. Props to Judoka for really, really taking on someone way bigger. And I'm going to answer any questions we have about weight class later. So a little back fist. Dude, the back fist connected, bro. The back fist connected. Aiki Jiu-Jitsu guy dropped him with a back fist. What the heck just happened? Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. We got to watch that last part again. Okay. Judoka still looked okay. His hands were a little down. Look at that. Wait, what? That looked like it hit the... I'm going to slow this down even more. It looked like it didn't hit the face. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I thought it hit the face, but his back fist hit the arm. Maybe he just got gassed. I don't know. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. We're going to have a lot more coverage to come. Make sure to press a like and make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed. Not just to me, to this channel too. I will link the channel in the end cards and the description and maybe the pinned comments. I'm waiting for them to comment so then I can pin their comments so it kills two birds with one stone. Now, obviously, I think we have some questions which they have answered. The first question I think a lot of you were asking, including me when I was watching, is are there weight classes for the matches? And the answer is there aren't strict weight classes. But what the promotion told me, when there are attacks to the head, which we saw in this match, they will screen the two competitors to make sure at least their levels are around equal. The second question I think a lot of us had is, how do they find people? How do they find schools? The answer is anyone over 18 from any organization can participate. Inevitably, and this is a question I'm waiting for them to answer, which means my next coverage of one of their matches will get the answer. Can viewers who might not be in Japan, by the way, this is in Japan, can they participate? Now we're gonna get some answers to that next video. But beyond that, I wanted to read to you something that they said to me that I really like. So this is what they said. Pursuing the middle ground between practicality, martial arts, competitiveness, safety and fairness, and entertainment, attractiveness and expression. It is a place, it as in this league, these competitions, is a place where you can practice to protect yourself and what is important to you in times of need a place to express yourself and what you have accumulated. That's what they wrote to me. I told them anything else, any more details you want to give me, do it. What I do is fair use, but I've been taking the initiative these past few years to really build up relationships with these leagues. Because after all, if we officially get along with all these leagues, I think the channel will grow. We can help each other grow. So yes, keeping it indie all the time, but also striving to keep growing, right? That's what we want to do with both martial arts and our own martial arts journey. So I will have a lot more from this channel. Make sure to leave a comment. Let us know what types of matches you want to see. Maybe they can put it together. Make sure to subscribe to them and I will tell the league to 
leave a comment so that way I can pin them and then you guys can go to the pinned comments and directly reply to them slash subscribe to them. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. Keeping it indie all the time. We have a lot more from this league soon. You're watching Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Please press subscribe.